What's up guys, welcome to your 15th Android tutorial for the new Boston. Again, my name is Travis. Welcome back. What we're going to do in this tutorial is basically finish up our splash activity for the most part and kind of use this thread so you guys get kind of familiar with the layout that we have set up here. Again, a thread looks for the run method and then we're going to try to do something. If it can't do that or it messes up, we're going to catch the exception and then we have this one last math method that we can use uh, for whatever we want. So let's get our activity going. Again we want our activity basically to pause for five seconds and we can use a method from the thread class again um, called sleep. And that will allow us to just pause our thread and not do anything for however long we want for the most part. And the method is pretty easy. Just sleep like this and what, what goes within its parameters is basically how many milliseconds we want it to sleep. So we're going to say 5,000 milliseconds which is equal to five seconds. A little conversion lesson for you guys. You get an added bonus with this Android series. So there you go. Um, so now our application is going to sleep for five seconds. And what this catch exceptions, if it can't uh, get the interrupt, or if there's an interrupted exception of some sort, we're going to catch that. So we define that interrupted exception variable. Or I'm, I'm sorry, that's the type of exception we're looking for and we named that E. So within here we can uh, do the standard for the most part catch and that's just print stack trace. Again you guys don't really need to know what that does. It basically just kind of throws it around. It doesn't, it doesn't really matter. That's for debugging. Hopefully your application will run perfectly. We won't have to worry about the exceptions. But basically all I just wanted you guys to realize is we named this variable so we can use that variable within the case for the most part probably doesn't make sense sorry so basically now our application sleeps for five seconds and how are how are we gonna start our new activity is what the question is and where are we gonna do that well we could do that right below the here so it's gonna sleep for five seconds and then it'll go to the next line of code and we could start our activity here but just to use the framework of this thread for the most part we are gonna do it within our finally bracket so after it gets done trying all everything within these brackets, it's going to go to this finally bracket. And to start an activity, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a few ways you can do it, but the method is called start activity. I believe that's from the activity class, and yeah, it's from the activity class, so we can use that because again, we're extending the activity class. And there's a few ways we can start an activity, but uh, probably the simplest way for you guys to start out is. If we hover over here, it shows that it takes an intent within its parameters. And that's what I should say. There's a few ways to set up an intent. Now, we don't have an intent yet, but we're going to define one real quickly and real simply. Same way we, we uh, make any other type of variable, we define the type, which is going to be intent. And, <clears throat> and basically, then we give this intent a name. So we're going to say... Uh, open starting point. Basically that's going to be the intent name. Again, you guys can label that whatever. We need to import intent so we can use its sweet methods. And we're going to set this equal to new intent. And then we put up a parentheses and we hit um, in quotations what we want our intent action name to be. And you guys might remember what the action name is, but I'll go over it again. Basically, our action name is the new com dot the new Boston dot Travis dot starting point. And then we have to finish off this statement with a semicolon, as always. And now what we're going to do is within the start activity, that's where we're going to set up our intent that we just created called open starting point. And there we go. Now it's going to open or start the activity called starting point, or based off the intent called starting point. And this intent is going to create a new intent based off of this action name. And this action name has to match up with the manifest. So just remember what I typed out here com.thenewboston.travis.starting point. And we set that up in a few tutorials ago, but I'm just going to re, re familiarize you guys with that with the Android manifest. I'm going to open that up. And here's the action name. 
So this is what we're setting our intent equal to, is this action name. So when we start an activity, it's going to look at the intent. And the intent is basically the intent of this starting name, or action name. So it's going to look through the manifest, find this reference, and then it's going to be like, oh, that's of the starting point class. That's the class I'm going to start. So that's kind of how it works. So again, this reference has to be exactly the same as the reference we created in our splash activity right here for intent. Otherwise, you guys will get an error. Um, it's always good to kind of check your program and make sure it works every so often so you guys save yourself some time with the errors. So I'm just going to do that real quick. Make sure activity works, runs for five seconds on the splash, and then opens our starting point class. And there you go. Voila. Thanks again for watching, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial, learned something new, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a good, one. Have a good day.